questions. Okay, well, you don't know what remorse he has shown or has not shown. But secondly, I'm not going to get into like the deep thicket here of defending Donald Trump's personal life because we're in a binary right now. And the binary is very simple. Instead of moralizing against a man who's facing 700 years in federal prison for trying to put the American citizen first, I think we as Christians should get on our hands and knees and thank God that we have a fighter that is willing to actually go to D.C. and fight for us against that very regime. So, and, and so hold on a second. You say, how can I as a Christian... What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, as we back here into a new video, today we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook shuts down anti-Trumper. Okay, this is going to be amazing. Uh, I couldn't Charlie kick we gonna love kicking us. Let's go right to this video. Hi Charlie. Um, so my question is you support Christian values, as do I. How do you support a man who in many ways is the antithesis of those values in Donald Trump? I thought you were gonna say Joe Biden. What well it's, if it's a you've you've supported Trump in the primaries too. Yeah. So there was other options at that point. Well yeah, so you're asking why why do I support a sinner? Why, well, why do you support someone who... Because you're obviously not a sinner, right? No, I'm a sinner, but his, okay. his whole life and his values are all the antithesis of what the Ten Commandments are and things like that. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not even sure what to make of that. Let's just look at his presidency. I mean, was he not an excellent president? Do you disagree Well, I, I believe that character matters in well, our I, leaders. I do too. So I actually, here's my number one mark of character for a politician. Did you do what you say you were going to do? And Donald Trump did what he said he was going to uh, do. I'm sorry, do we, have a, do we have a wall across the whole southern border right now? Well, we built a couple hundred miles of border wall. But he said he was going to build a full wall. Right, there were limitations for that. He shut down the government for 60 days over that. You. you hold um, on a second. Wait, you, who is you? I'm sorry? You said you shut down the government. Well, who is you? D Donald Trump shut down the government for 60 days to try to get $4 billion in border wall funding. He put Schumer and Pelosi in his office. He did everything at his disposal while he was facing two impeachments and one ridiculous special counsel investigation. Southern border crossings went down to a 30-year low under Donald Trump. We had asylum seekers that were rejected back to their country of origin. You can nitpick certain things from the right to say, oh, I could have, would have, and should have. But let's go through the promises. Number one, Donald Trump gave us and fulfilled the promise three excellent Supreme Court justices so that we had the reversal of Roe versus Wade. Wait, wait, Hold so, on. Wait, so As a Christian, will you give him credit for that? I give him credit, but are you saying any, any other Republican president would have done the same thing? George W. Bush gave us a liberal Supreme Court justice. Jo John Roberts? John Roberts okay. voted against us on critical issue on after critical. Besides Obama Roe versus Wade. He was against us on It was Roe a 5-4 decision, not a, I believe. I could be incorrect. I thought but it was 6-3, but I may be wrong. You, you, you might be right on that. I, I, don't want, I don't want to speak out of turn. However, he, he voted against on many of the other issues recently. Liber By the way, Roberts is very liberal. Okay. So secondly, George H.W. Bush gave us Kennedy, Anthony Kennedy. Uh, it might have been Reagan. Either Reagan or Bush gave okay, us but Kennedy. They wouldn't, have, they, they wouldn't have been elected in 2016. If you had Ted Cruz, if you had Marco Rubio, they would have given us three people that match Kavanaugh. Gorsuch and, and uh, but that, Tony again, Barrett. B Bush gave us liberal tilt justices. And that's number one. But let me just ask a question. George W. Bush, did he ever speak at the March for Life? I'm not aware no, of he, that. No, he didn't because he was a pro-abortion Republican because his wife was well, pro-abortion. Trump can't even well, sort out his own take on abortion now. Well, hold, on, hold on a second. Oh, he's just saying. changing the script here. You came here as a question is how can I as a Christian support a sinner? We well, all agree we're all sinners. As opposed to other candidates who have probably have better character in the primaries well, like, the like Ron DeSantis. By, what do you mean by character exactly? Like not having a history of adultery, not having a history of immorality, mocking Mike Pence for praying in the oh, White hold House. On. So, okay, so, so you believe that anyone that has wrongfully cheated on their wife should be disqualified from leadership, public office, all that stuff, yes? Uh, they, so your, your standards are higher than God's shown, when, when they King shown, David became king over Israel, just so we're clear. When they haven't shown the proper remorse for those actions. Okay, well you don't know what remorse he has shown or has not shown. But secondly, I'm not going to get into like the deep thicket here of defending Donald Trump's personal life, because we're in a binary right now. And the binary is very simple. Instead of moralizing against a man who's facing 700 years in federal prison for trying to put the American citizen first, I think we as Christians should get on our hands and knees and thank God that we have a fighter that is willing to actually go to D.C. and fight for us against that very regime. So and so hold on a second. You say, how can I as a Christian? But I look at Samson. I look at David. I look at sinners throughout the Bible that were used for God's purposes. Do you, do you recognize that? Yeah, but are you saying that sinners are better than people who have less sins? Because if you, if you looked at someone, just for example, like Ron DeSantis, who 
has, in my opinion, a much better character than Donald Trump. Are you saying that he wouldn't have gone to D.C. and fought for the values that you're saying Trump would fight for? So, so I didn't support DeSantis. I like DeSantis. But let's talk about character. By all objective measurements, George W. Bush had better character than Trump. Loyally married, never accused of adultery, Christian. He gave us the Iraq War. He gave us the Afghan War. I mean, you can point hold to on, one person. Hold on, no, 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 hold on. I'm talking about the only other Republican president of the 21st century, not one other person. Want me to point to his father, H.W. Bush? What about Reagan? Reagan is not as good of a president as Donald Trump. Reagan gave us no-fault divorce, mass amnesty. Reagan also expanded the national security state. Reagan was a fine president, but nowhere near as an effective of Donald Trump president. So that's the question ahead of us, which is if you only look at character, which is your version of character, I don't share that version of character. It's does the politician do what he say he's going to do? And he did, he did what he said he was going to do. Guys, it's well, he, really, he did that in, in abundant terms. Well, he did some of the things he said he would do. So, he didn't so do let, let's get to another one. Blessed are the peacemakers. You and I as Christians both believe that, right? How many new wars were started under Donald Trump? But zero was started under Jimmy Carter also. I mean, is that not on, really like, a... Hold on, we're, we're talking... Yeah, you're right. And zero were started under, like, I don't know, William Buchanan or something. I don't know. Like, you can go w w way back into the, the, the presidential register here. I'm not advocating for Jimmy Carter's presidency from hospice, okay? <laughs> I, I'm, it's, a, it's a very simple question, which is, in the modern era, from Clinton to Bush to Obama to Trump to Biden, those are five presidents, okay? Only one of those five did not start a new international reckless adventurous war in any theater. And that guy is named Donald Trump. You, and th that for me is like a decision, it's like a, a massive, massive issue, especially when you look at the carnage and the funding. I mean, you don't want war, you're a Christian. No, I, I, I'm not saying everything Trump did was bad. Fair enough, okay. But so let me ask you a question. I mean this sincerely. Is there anything he can do to win you over? I mean, I'll, I'll probably end up voting for him just because I don't like the other side. But I would have much rather preferred someone else from the primaries. Fair enough. I think you're coming after this from a fair perspective. But I would challenge you not to just throw around the... I, I like RFK, though. I might vote for him. Okay. Well, that, then you're going to vote for a pro-abortion, you know, pro-choice guy who would put radical left-wingers on the Supreme Court that would never win. But it's fine. You live in Washington, so your vote doesn't matter that much anyway. But um, <laughs> it's true. I mean, it's, it's unfortunately a super left-wing state. But... And just so we're clear, RFK is also an adulterer. I don't know if you've looked into that. So if your criteria is kind of falling apart. So um really good. I love how Charlie defended Donald Trump. Like I really respect Charlie for this. Um, if you are to ask me, this guy right here um, is acting very judgmental. And it attempts like, you being a Christian, I understand. Yeah, you, you want to be, you want someone who is clean um, who have not divorced or who who is not um, promiscuous or adulterous. Like, there is no sense in the entire world. We are all born sinners. You understand? So you can't just criticize Donald Trump because he's, he's an adulterer. He has uh, cheated on his wife before. Means he's not suitable before the post. What matters is who said he's going to get the job done and he got the job done. It's as simple as that. <laughs> you can employ someone, um, you can vote in someone who says, um, I'm, I'm going to get the job done. Whereas, well, yes. he's not going to do a shit. And he, he's not adulterous. Um, he has a good, ba good background. Everything about him is perfect. But he will do no shit. He won't make America great. <laughs> it won't make any difference in him, really. Like, it makes no sense. There's a parable that is in the Bible that says, um, I think it's Jesus that gave this parable, that if father sent his son to go um, get something, to go get a job done, then the son was um, out of remorse, was like, he's not going to go. So the father sent another son um, to go do something, and the son was like, okay, I'm going to go do it. The son who said he's, he's, he's not going to go and do the job, went ahead and do the job. Then the one who said he's going to do it did no shit. So in the eyes of people, I know we humans who are very, very judgmental. Like very, very, very judgmental. We want someone who is clean, perfect, and without any stain. But that is not how the world works. 
<laughs> it says funny as that, but it, that's not how the world works. Because some people who are clean, perfect, and without understanding, they're the ones who will pour mud around everywhere and make it terrible. Donald Trump, under his regime, there was zero war, guys. Zero war. That speak of a man. Every single war Donald Trump, every single war Donald Trump said is going to do, he did it. He did it. He's not perfect. I know there are some of them uh, um, he intended to do, but he wasn't able to complete. It's, it happens. You understand? But he tried his best to, com to fulfill every statement he made, every promises he made. He tried his possible best to fulfill it. That speaks of a man itself. That speaks of who he really is. That speaks of character. So people are very, very judgmental of um, who Donald Trump is, um, his religious background, uh, how he behaves. His personal life is different from... <laughs> his life is different from his job that he's doing and making America better and great. What he, do, what he does in his personal life is none of a business. Some people do terrible shit in their personal life, but the public won't see it. You understand? Bro, the man he's doing terrible things in his personal life, like the adulterous. I'm not supporting a man to be very adulterous to cheat on his wife, but the public is saying it. The entire public is saying it, and he's getting the job done that he promised the public he's going to do. It's not affecting his personal life to jeopardize his job as a president during his tenure. It's not affecting his personal life to jeopardize it. Like it's it's as simple as that. I understand that the guy um, initially he wanted someone else for the primary election, uh, a better candidate for. He feel like there was a better candidate who is more pure, pure and perfect. But Donald Trump has been tested and approved. <laughs> he's someone who who is good at this job. Like he's is good at bringing peace. He, blessed, blessed, blessed are the peacemakers, according to what Ch Charlie said. Blessed are the peacemakers, Charlie. Donald Trump. Bring speak, you know, Donald Trump does not want war. And during Donald Trump era, people were afraid of America, should be said. People were afraid to mess around with America. Like, the entire world. They were just careful. And Donald Trump do not want war. He wanted peace. He went to Afghanistan. Um, he went to Iraq. Um, he, he met Chinese. Chinese presidents, he, like, he met up with them and sat down, they were laughing with Russian presidents, like, him and Putin, they were like, kind of like friends. You understand? So, the man is good at what he does best by ruling. You can't come and tell him that his personal life, because his personal life is not perfect, means it's not suited for the job. Like, it makes no sense. You are being, you are being judgmental. You are... Even in the Bible, there are people who are very promiscuous. People who are adulterous. People who have worse than Donald Trump right now. But you don't have to judge him by his personal life that he, he cheated, the adulterous. You need someone who is more perfect. That doesn't mean the person who is perfect when it comes to the job is going to do it perfectly. You understand? So, you know someone is credible for something, give the person. That's what I'm trying to say. And I love how Charlie defended Donald Trump perfectly. This student right here, um, he's anti-Trump. <laughs> he does not like Trump. It's as simple as that. Like, it's it's obvious. He just does not like Trump because Trump personal life is not perfect. And him bringing out Christianity in the sense of adultery um, to make Charlie feel like Trump does not deserve it. The guy's going extra, my. This was actually beautiful to watch. I love the entire video. Comment down below to talk about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. What's smoking? I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales on.